I put strategic content and that you show up and you add value. Notice I didn't say that you show up every day and add value. I just said that you show up and add value. And so if you do that as little as one time a week, that can be good. If you do it one time every other week, whatever you decide, just be consistent about it. Make sure that there's consistency and that your your community understands that that that's what the that's what the cadence is. You get to control it, right? So you get you get to control the narrative, right? Again, I want you to say you get to control the narrative. So if that's one time a month you're going to show up live, one time a you know whatever that's going to be, train the audience and your community to expect it. All right. So you know somebody wrote, somebody says in comments that you know it's overkill when you show up all the time, right? But again, you know we've got this sense of you know we need to show what. And, and let me let me just tell you because I again I have created many groups and the idea of creating the group is. Well, it's like your baby, right? So your first baby, you want to pour into it and you want to give, you know, you want to give it love. And then, you know, the, the biggest thing that was just so um, exciting for me when I first did my first groups was I loved interacting with clients like or prospective clients because they weren't even paying clients at that point. You know, so I just loved interacting. I loved like talking to them in messenger. I loved talking to them in post. I loved like, you know, the responses from people. Right. And don't get me wrong. We're all humans at the end of the day. Right. So we, you know, when you, when you do a post and you get likes on your post and people are responding, it does feel good. Right. But sometimes Sometimes what happens is we get hung up in that emotional feeling that we get from the likes and the responses and we're not strategic about the content nor are we showing up in a consistent way and we really are more focused on building the relationships than building a business right I've, I've been guilty of it right I was so I was so enamored by making sure that all my graphics were color coordinated and, and and you know and they had a theme I remember being on Instagram and spending I remember days and hours trying to get the theme the the Instagram three theme color coded and my brain is not artistic right so I would like drive my graphic artist crazy I was like no but the flower needs to be on this post and it needs to be here right because if you're an Instagrammer you know you got that nine pattern and post it and then I was trying to reuse them on Facebook I mean it was a god-awful mess like we spent more time trying to coordinate my Instagram post to Facebook post than we did making money right and that's what happens oftentimes when you're running a group is that you spend more time on trying to get everything to look pretty and and uh, make you feel good and get more likes and, and more of this and more of that and you forget really what the, the the value proposition is show up in the damn group provide some nuggets and some value to your group and sell <laughs> period that's what the group value is right now if you want to have a field group group right and you do something else on the side that's great but if you want to have a profitable travel business and you want to use a pro a, a, a amazing engine marketing and sales engine your facebook group will do that for you right but be strategic about the content that you deliver in the group do not overkill it when you show up in the group and add value right make sure you understand and you're connecting to the audience that you are that you're there to service right it's just another vehicle for you to provide service and value to your clients perspective clients so they can get a taste of what it's going to be like to work with you